Hello everyone, it's Wasim here from the channel Handsome Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another fragrance video. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you my first impressions of nine fragrances uh, from the house of Mileg Perfumes. So this is a new house, uh, they create handcrafted perfumes. Uh, it's headed up by a gentleman called Matthew Mileg. And I bought these samples from Etsy. So I found out about this house uh, through a video by Wafts and Lofts uh, regarding a fragrance called uh, Chypre, Civet Cat Chypre and it's meant to be like an animalic fragrance and that really perked my interest and they found out about this house through a video by Yana so a little bit of research I did on Etsy so you can buy his samples and his fragrances from Etsy I found that Mileg Perfumes uses natural ingredients and they're not IFRA compliant and for me that was great, you know, I love fragrances that are not IFRA compliant, This, is, which is the reason why I love Uttara so much. I love these naturally uh, created perfumes and I like them to have some power and not to be IFRA compliant because IFRA really ruins a lot of classic fragrances. So Mileg Perfumes, uh, they, the gentleman behind it, Matthew Mileg, is really about creating these vintage inspired fragrances. and. Uh, the reason why Matthew Mileg creates fragrances is a way for him to communicate with the world. Unfortunately, Matthew, when he was 17, he was uh, he was involved in a racist attack. Uh, he was attacked by a group of uh, racist individuals, him and his friends. And from the ages of 17 to 25, he never left his house. Because of that attack, he developed PTSD. Uh, I know later on in his life, after the age of 25, he thankfully went to art school and he spent a decade in Tokyo, living in Tokyo as well. And he now creates perfume, like I've said, to in order for him to communicate with the world. So I thought that was pretty cool. Sounds like a really nice gentleman. And the fragrances really perked my interest because they're natural, handmade, uh, not IFRA compliant, and they're using animalic notes like you've got civet here, you've got deer musk, and uh, ingredients like that, as you guys know, I love on this channel. And it also mentions uh, on Etsy that he sources these ethically as well. So let's get on with the first impressions. But before that, in my package, I received a note as well. And you always get these sort of notes when you buy from independent uh, perfumers, especially on Etsy. So the note says, Dear Wasim, thank you so much for your support. I think that's brilliant. And yeah, you have to support these independent perfumers, especially the ones selling on Etsy. And I don't think uh, Matthew Mileg knows I'm a, I'm a fragrance reviewer. Uh, I, I buy loads of stuff from Etsy and it's not related to my channel. So this, as you guys know, is going to be an unbiased first impressions. But I have to say I'm really excited to try these out. So the first one I'm going to try out is Shepra, uh Civet Cat Shepra. So Civet Cat Shepra. I know this has been reviewed a few times, I believe by Yana and Wafts from Lofts and it really piqued my interest, so let's see. Doing another spray. Oh, there we go. So, Civet Cut Sheep. I get a lot of florals and there's some I believe there was like a bright bergamot just at the start oh, smells like a very classic Chanel fragrance that's the type of uh, scent that I'm picking up it reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, number 22 I believe by Chanel smells so like smooth uh, so elegant uh, lovely florals I'm picking up I could be completely wrong I don't know the uh, note breakdown but I'm getting like a jasmine sort of feel <sighs> even though it's called civet cat Chypre, and it's got civet in the in the notes initial blast I feel like this is a pleasant scent it smells uh, quite elegant uh, quite beautiful but there's a sexiness to this as well starting to become a little bit more darker now <sighs> mm. 
very very elegant very beautiful but not very animalic at this stage I could definitely see this being quite a pleasing scent I feel like this leans a little bit more towards a woman the type of image that's coming into my head is like a a woman wearing a very uh, beautiful white dress uh, she's wearing she's got like a daisy sort of uh, daisies in her hair she's a blonde woman that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting from this scent and she's walking through a field on a hot sunny day that's Civet Cat Shepra as the first one so there's nine uh, fragrances I'm gonna give first impressions of today uh, the next one is called Birch Tar and Russian Leather so let's do that one Birch Tar and Russian Leather This one is masculine. This one is strong. I'm picking up a really like smoky woods in this. Super dark, super smoky, slightly burnt woods. I don't want to spend too much time uh, smelling all of these, otherwise this video is going to be about an hour long. So I'm going to quickly run through them as quick as I can but at least give you guys as much detail as I can from an initial first impression so birch tar really dark quite burnt woods that's and very smoky that's what I'm getting from birch tar and Russian leather uh, this one feels very very masculine very powerful very very bold the scent that I get from this is the film Terminator 2 where Arnold Schwarzenegger he's wearing that leather jacket and they're in that Mexican uh, desert that's the sort of vibe that I'm getting from this one super cool birch tar and Russian leather is the second one all right the third one is called I believe it's pronounced cello so I'm gonna leave a, a description of all the scents the names in the comments below as well as the description box so let's try cello I believe <sighs> this one is a little bit more brighter than that birch tar Russian leather that one was very very heavy I'm getting like a sweet woodsy sort of feel from this very smooth smooth fragrant woods that's what I'm picking up not sure if there's like a gourmand quality in this as well But that's why I'm picking up really smooth woods. That's cello. These are first impressions. I could get them completely wrong. I don't know the list breakdown, but that's why I'm getting. I hope I'm not getting nasal fatigue. And the next one is called 1900 Vienna Chocolate. So let's try. According to the name, I'm I'm presuming this is like a chocolatey fragrance. So it's going to be sweet. But let's see. The sprays on these samples are fantastic. I believe, uh, I'm not sure if they're plastic atomizers or glass. Let's see. <sighs> Definitely chocolatey. Vienna 1900 Vienna chocolate. But I'm getting like a, a dry chocolatey accord from this. I'm not sure if there's patchouli in this, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a dry chocolatey accord so beautiful this is so gorgeous it's chocolate but it's not 
overly sweet. Uh, it's not got like a vanilla sort of vibe that it's like an um, over the top gourmand. But there's this bit of chocolate I'm getting in. The chocolate is quite dry. And I'm getting like a, a woodsy sort of uh, undertone to the chocolate which is more prominent. I believe the woodsy quality is helping to bring down that sweetness so it doesn't become overbearing. It's like walking into a really old coffee shop and you're sitting amongst a table that's made all out of woods and you're drinking some hot chocolate and the uh, sales people are making these hot chocolates. That's what I'm picking up here. But you're smelling more of the woods. That's what I'm getting from this. Woods and chocolate. That's 1900 Vienna chocolate. That's the fourth one. Next one is called Glowing Amber. So let's try out Glowing Amber. Obviously guys, there's gonna be a full detail reviews after I've done some testing of these samples. These are just first impressions. So, glowing amber. <sighs> Super bright. This feels like I'm walking into a room which has just been freshly painted. That's the sort of uh, image that I'm getting. very bright but it smells like I'm just walked into a room and it's been painted that's the sort of smell that I'm getting from this that's glowing amber definitely need to try that out on skin and test properly so the next one is called honey and deer musk sheepra so deer musk I'm excited by this he has mentioned that he's some, uh, he sources these materials ethically as well, so keep that in mind, guys. So, honey and deer musk sheepra. Let's see. I like this one. This is good. This definitely smells vintage, but it doesn't smell dated. Again, this is very, very smooth. And there's got this sweetness to it, but the honey isn't overly like sweet, or overly gourmand. I'm just getting lovely powderiness from uh, honey and deer musk sheepra. lovely powdery I uh, get the image of whiteness very smooth S leans a little bit more feminine but I would definitely wear this smells very very elegant very classy again for a fragrance which has deer musk and it's an animalic fragrance it doesn't to me scream like a dirty animalic powerhouse type it seems very elegant very pleasing but it's got that sexy quality to it that's honey deer musk sheepra next is tobacco frankincense rolls nice this seems like a very strong oriental called uh, judging by the name but let's try it out Tobacco, frankincense, and rolls. Rose straight away, <sighs> beautiful. And to the rose, there's like a, a resinous quality in the background. This is sweet, ever so slightly smoky. Just a touch of warmth, warmth coming as well. I'm not sure if that's the tobacco. 
and there's their sweetness as well so there's this rose but there's like a really uh, candy is like sweetness I'm not sure what that is like a sugary sweetness that's what I'm picking up this would be perfect in really cold weather this seems very very strong very sweet uh, rose quite smoky a lot of warmth and there's this candy like sweetness this sugary sweetness that I'm picking up as well Whew, this is powerful stuff all right next one is called clove wood lounge this is the second to last one let's go again guys have no idea in terms of what notes they are or anything I'm just testing them as they are on first impressions but afterwards giving it a full wearing I'll give you guys my full detailed review in the coming months so Cloverwood Lounge oh my god this is nice this is a lot more fresher than the others I've tried this smells a little bit like a, a fougere this smells very very gentlemanly so a, a few of these were leaning more elegant more classy uh, feminine type even though I would wear them myself but the image of that got into my head was like a beautiful woman wearing a white dress but this one a gentleman wearing a nice suit nice shirt oh wow this is really nice clove wood lounge this smells like a gentleman quite bright It smells like a, a vintage aftershave, like my granddad would wear. This is really, really nice. Clovewood Lounge. So, the last one is called Herbs and Spice Cologne. Let's try that one out. Herbs and Spice Cologne. This reminds me of something. There's, it's got these herbs and spices. It sort of reminds me of Lanouille de Lome, but the, the one of the flankers I call it. I think I can't remember what it was called. It was a Lanouille de Lome, but it was a darker version of Lanouille de Lome. I'm not Lanouille de Lome. Lodice Porom. Sorry, Lodice Porom. This is reminding me of Lodice Porom. That fresh, spicy opening. This super fresh uh, some spices I'm picking up like a, a citrusy orange yeah citrusy orange really jumping off and there's some spices too this very invigorating no disciple this is reminding me but it's heavier on the citrusy than the spice very invigorating very fresh I would definitely enjoy wearing this one so those were the nine I'm gonna go back and smell them again let's see if they've dried down a little bit and see what I think so Civet Cat Shepra oh yeah this is now more animalic wow I'm getting a slight pissy quality coming from this now I think that might be coming from the Civet there's some floral element definitely to balance it but I'm getting that animalicness I know I said at the beginning there was no animalic in this but oh wow I can pick up the animalicness now oh wow I'm definitely going to enjoy this one Civet Cat Shepra okay the next one was Birch Tar and Russian Leather I said this one smelled like Arnold Schwarzenegger in his leather jacket in the Terminator 2 film when they're in that Mexican uh, Mexican desert but let's see what this one smells like birch tar and russian leather okay this one has calmed down a lot it was very strong 
but I'm getting like a, a woodsy fragrance with a lot of smoke and quite a burnt sort of feel. It's like being near a campfire possibly. That's birch tar and Russian leather. Next one. Oh, it's very, very strong. I hope I don't get nasal fatigue. Next one is cello. Soft, woods, and a little bit fresh. That's what I'm picking up from cello. Again, really, really strong. Soft, woods. There's a little bit of a sweetness. I'm not sure where that's from. That's cello. Next one is 1900 Vienna chocolate. So a second sort of impression. Same as the opening. It's a very woodsy, chocolatey or cool that I'm picking up. More of the woods I'm picking up on this one now. Now let's try glowing amber. This is giving me more greenness now. Picking up a lot more greenness in glowing amber. I do need to test this on skin. I'm just getting a lot of greenness. Next one is honey and deer musk shepra. This is very, very smooth. I'm getting like a smokiness from this and it sort of reminds me of sitting in the shisha lounge but it doesn't smell like a shisha but it reminds me of sitting in the shisha, uh, shisha lounge so I'm not sure what sort of what sort of scent this is but it seems quite familiar to something I'm not sure if like it's I remember shisha because it's got like a sweet tobacco sort of scent but that's what I'm picking up now it's very very powerful though Next one is tobacco, frankincense, and rose. So, similar to the opening, this is rose, super sweetness that I'm picking up. It has like a resinous quality. There's some warmth. Oh, this is powerful. <laughs> Next one is clove wood lounge. This just smells so gentlemanly. Smells like an old school aftershave my granddad would have worn. Clovewood Lounge, really, really nice, really gentlemanly, really old school. <sighs> Clovewood Lounge, and finally, Herbs and Spice Cologne. Oh, this has changed a little bit now. <sighs> a little bit more, the citrus is sort of uh, died down now, and I'm picking up a lot more spices. So there you have it, those were my first impressions of Meleg perfumes. I think my favourite has to be Herb Spice Cologne. <sighs> Love this invigorating freshness that I'm Hey guys, I don't know what happened just then, my camera uh, cut out. Uh, after I finished filming my review and I just did an outro, I checked the video and I saw that it cut out and I got really worried that I actually didn't film the whole first impressions, but ho thankfully the first impressions was filmed, it was just my outro that wasn't filmed. So guys, that was my first impressions from the house of Milek Perfumes. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this first impressions. Uh, like I said, my favourite one was Herb and Spice Cologne. And after that, the one I'm really excited about testing is Civet Cat Shepra. Very, very animalic, but really reminds me of like an old school Chanel fragrance. So guys, those are my first impressions. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave me a like and a comment below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. I'm going to be doing extensive testing of all these fragrances. And then in the coming months, I'm going to be releasing my detailed reviews of these scents by Mileg Perfumes. So guys, thank you. Make sure to subscribe. Until next time, see you later.